Hi. Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today, I'm going to have a chat with you about given moments. Yeah, given moments. But before we jump in to our conversation, I'm actually going to have tea. I'm actually having tea right now. I'm pre-recording this because I have a busy weekend. And this is vanilla caramel chai. One of my friends gave me a couple boxes of tea when I went to visit her in October and vanilla caramel chai. It sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's yummy. I've already had coffee this morning. So. so let's have a conversation about given moments. Today is actually Friday and I'm feeling into some of the uh, social things that I've accepted invitations for. <laughs> so tonight I'm actually going to a potluck with a new group of friends and I'm looking forward to that. And uh, pretty exciting. We've been in an online group for a while and uh, now we get to meet in person. So that's good. Plus there's other people going to be there. It's called a friend's giving. <laughs> a friend's giving. I have to bring um, something... <laughs> food wise I said okay how about I bring a veggie tray because then I know I have something I can eat because I'm a kind of on this you know conscious eating scenario where I'm trying to detox energetically my liver and release grief and all sorts of stuff you know that if you've been following me on Bridget Inspired on Instagram you know the story right or on Facebook because I've talked about it on Facebook too so there's that, and that's tonight. But before I do that, I'm getting my hair cut. Now, I know you're like, Bridget, your hair, I know it's a thing. Above Life Channel viewers, some of you guys cannot stand how I just play with my hair, and I work with my hair, and all that. And it's just something, it's just a me. It's a Bridget thing. It's a Bridget thing. It's a Bridget thing. It's a Bridget thing. But I have some little unruly colics back here. And I also, um, I love it super shaved. And I did that like two weeks ago. It's only been two weeks, but I need this under part shaved more so that it lays really nice and it's dramatic. So that's what I'm doing today. Haircut is self-care for me. It feels good to do that. So I'm doing that today. And then tomorrow, Saturday, I'm actually going um, with a friend and her sisters to this cool place in St. Paul. And uh, I have to be at her place at like 10 a.m. I'm like, okay. So it's like a Christmassy thing. I don't know if it's shopping or fooding or what, but up for that, doing that. So that's unusual for me. I got a couple of things like back to back and then Sunday I have session and stuff like that. So there's just a lot and that's okay. So I thought it would be a good, a good time, a perfect time right now before I jump in to the next part of my day to share with you given moments, the conversation about given moments. And this was inspired because of a couple of different variations on that concept. So the words given moments, I want you to use that for your journal, for a prompt in your journal. I'm looking at, I have like three journals sitting right here, right here. They're ripe and ready. Oh yes, baby. They are ripe and ready. Um, one, um, this one is basically done, but I have some stuff in it that I'm trying to um, do some final release on. So I can't quite let it go yet. And then this journal is the new one. You probably saw it again. I'm Bridget inspired my dragon journal. I'm really into the dragon alchemy right now. I love it. And so uh, that's my new one right now. And I just makes me happy thinking about it and touching it and telling you about it. <laughs> so yay. So given moments. So there's a couple of ways you can go with this. One is this whole concept of timing and time and how life is precious and our bodies have an expiration date. Our life as a body, as a human has an expiration date. So we can use that information in a couple of different ways. We can be bummed out about it and feel like, oh, I really screwed that thing up. And now, you know, I don't have much chance the rest of my life to experience that again, or we can say, oh, I missed that opportunity. Like someone who maybe feels like they chose the wrong profession, for example, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I don't really have time. I'm, I'm, I don't want to go back to school. I don't want to start over, whatever that is for you. So the moment of opportunity, timing, 
but the human body is such a tracker of it. The mind is too very linear. Really the spirit and our energetic, our life source energy never dies. So it's transcendent. That's how I can channel. That's how I can do psychic information. That's how I can connect to you right now. We could talk, you and I, and I could connect to your higher self, your spirit of you, your soul voice and have conversation because there's a whole life source within you that is helping to guide you when you listen, <laughs> when you can accept that guidance, which I'm not good at either. So, so the given moments is this potentially this concept of life is short and you're given only a succinct amount of moments. And the kicker is you don't know. You don't know when you're going to be, whoop, whoop, time's up. Time's up. Time's up. You're out of here. You don't really know that. You don't really know that. And so there can be this feeling of almost anxiousness that comes with that. Like, am I living fully? Am I doing the best I can do? Am I, am I making an impact? Am I loving the people that love me back? Am I being a good person, the good kind of person that I want to be, the kind of person that my soul knows I am? What does that look like? How, is, how does that unfold? All the kinds of things I came here to learn as a human body, as a soul living in a human body. And there's this almost anxiety of, oh my God, time is running short. And especially with the pandemic, we have that reflection, especially if you've had somebody in your life that has left you, whether through a death or an ending, a physical death or an ending. The grief is the scenario that can cloud our ability to understand the given moments the moments that are given to us and how precious they are. And instead of feeling sorry for what has been lost or the separation, the given moment concept, I believe, is an opportunity for us to take stock of where we're at right here, right now. And what we have learned, what we have gathered in learning all along the way is now able to be served. It, it, can, it can be utilized to serve us and to give us then inform us guide us that wisdom, knowledge, seasoned experience. Whether you liked it or not, it doesn't matter. It is, it has been, it's done. It has been done. It doesn't matter whether it was good, bad, whatever. it doesn't matter. It is information, it informs you, it can inform you in this given moment. So the other piece of the given moment conversation is about the now. What are you going to do with what you know now, right now? Are you really going to let another day pass you by without having that experience, without being in that love? Are you really going to just let that go? Out of your awareness, slipping through your fingers, out of your hands. Or are you going to take the information that you've had from the heartache, from the loss, from the grief, from the pain, from the, the disappointments within yourself, from you and your behaviors, or from others, or from things that have not gone as planned, or what you perceive as missed opportunities, are you really going to sit here and let the moment slip away? It will not come again. This now will not come again. It's given as a moment. It's a given moment. It's a given moment. And moment is energy for momentum, for momentum. What do you want the next parts of your life to look like the next days, weeks, months, years? How do you see yourself when you're old and gray and sitting on in a rocking chair? What do you see? Who do you feel with you by your side? What kind of landscape, what kind of weather? What do you hear? What do you love in that imagery? Dream your future now by participating and engaging fully in this now moment. It is given to you. It is a gift. Like it or not, if this moment fucking sucks, which, harsh Bridget, it may, <laughs> it may be hard. And I know because moment to moment for me, it's like the weather. Sometimes there's showers, random snow showers, ice storms. Sometimes it's chill and mellow. And other times, all of a sudden, whoosh, you have to wear a parka 
instead of a tank top, <laughs> you know? It really feels like that. There's nothing wrong with you, by the way. By the way, can we just stop with the making ourselves wrong? Can we stop with the self-sabotaging? Can we just, you and I, okay. You've been watching Above Life Channel for a long time. You've heard the advice of all those dead people, right? They know, they know. Can we just stop making ourselves wrong and bad? Can we just stop with the whole value thing and just accept that the given moment is so beautiful? because it's another chance. You have another chance. How are you going to embrace it? How are you gonna use it and not waste it? How are you gonna embody the love of the preciousness of your gift of a moment? Are you going to give up? If you are complete with the cycle, with the career, and with raising your family, maybe you're an empty nester with the relationship, if you are truly complete and it's done, then you can close the book, put it on the shelf with all the others of experiences you've had in this lifetime to be then accessed in your future lifetimes during your Akashic or Akashic records or what I like to say, halls of a mente visit. <laughs> That's how psychics sometimes can see your future or give you information <laughs> about yourselves, the hall of records or the bookshelves. Life books is what I call it. And it's what it looks like to me. If you've closed that chapter on that situation, that experience, and you're done with it, then truly be done with it. But if there's a light in this given moment, if there is a small flicker of hope, a small, tiny bit of a glow of a dream and a desire that you have, do not let it go. Do not give up on it. Feel that. Is this done? Is it done? Is it complete? Or is it regenerative? Is there a spark in this given moment that is allowing for what doesn't serve to die, to become ash, to compost, and to allow the light to be pure and it's just infancy state. It's intimate, pure, just pure, innocent state to then give birth and grow again in a stronger, more powerful and profound way? Is it a new beginning through the death? Is it a dream or this life? Is it, is it a desire that you hold in your heart and have thought and felt through all your life experiences that you're not worthy of that? Or is it truly a gift in this given moment, a reminder that this is just the beginning of the book because now you know what you want. You can feel it by the depth of the loss and the pain. There has been a desperation to hold on to the little bits of pieces of what you thought are the remnants of this dream or this this life experience. And yet the truth is, is perhaps it's just those bits that are being used to put into something new to allow that to generate and allow a healthier, stronger, more solid and aligned energetic of love to embody and to share through the truest, most beautiful connection. I guess in any given moment, time will tell. 
Because isn't that what life is, is a series of moments strung together like garland on that Christmas tree. Lighting up the moments. Feeling inside that little spark being held so precious, so carefully curated for the beauty and the gift that it has been. Holding it precious and close and never letting it go. Because it might. It might grow into form in this lifetime. That could happen. In any given moment, your dreams and desires as driven by you and your engagement and your direct action and behavior and participation in life, you will decide. In any given moment, life could change. And it does, it always does. So let's harness this understanding and then the beauty of the gift of this realization and the power and the profound resonance of the tiniest, just beautiful spark kept sacred. That could never die. I could never die. So I invite you to spend some time with your journal and ponder this given moments concept and leverage it, use it to manifest, use it to connect with your dreams. There's a new moon coming up this week. There's a lot of gratitude that's going to be unfolding because in the United States, we have Thanksgiving and Friendsgiving and all sorts of stuff like that. To be aware of life and not to settle for it, not to settle for the second thing or the what you because you think you can't have this so you're just going to set a stop here and no that spark that given moment let it remind you of the blessing of the opportunities that you are now generating for the future with that small little spark that little shine all it takes is that little bit of hope and that's where miracles happen. And I do believe in magic and I do believe in miracles. And I do believe that we are at choice. And so often we push away the options, opportunities and gifts that we're given. And we think it's too late or we missed out or we made horrible mistakes or we said things or we did things or that other people perceive us or the world perceives us in a certain way. No, it's all about us and how we perceive us. And if you hold that little little speck of hope, that light inside you, you can generate a rebirth of that which you truly desire. And that's when miracles and magic happens. I believe. I can see myself old, leaning over a railing, looking out at a beachfront, Breathing in the air, feeling the warmth of the sun, and knowing that I'm not alone. I just know that. And so for you, the day, in this given moment, I hope that I've inspired your spirit with this Sunday morning coffee filled you with hope and encouraged you to live your life. Keep an eye out this week because I'll be sharing some services that you really want to be around for because they'll be limited for the holiday. It has to do with famous people and personal videos. All right, I got to step into my Friday. Thanks for being here.